Well, generally, it's, you know, to do any of these procedures, uh, like candidates for any operation, uh, and even the injectables and fillers, things that we're not talking about today, but you need to have two things. You need to be physically ready, and you need to be mentally ready. Physically ready means that there's enough for me to do. In other words, that it's, you know, things are hanging down or, you know, the effects of gravity and the aging process. And mentally ready means it needs to bug the patient enough, bother the patient enough to do it. Because by definition, we're all candidates for surgery at some point in our lives as we get over a certain age, maybe in your 50s or 60s or beyond or whatever. <clears throat> and I always say the upside of the aging process, you're still around to witness it. So, so you see it, you may not like what you're seeing, but it's better than the alternative, you never made it that far. So, um, the, the opportunity to, to do surgery is really based on it bothering the patient enough to want to do it. Because the next person walking down the street may have something that's twice as bad, or twice as aged, you know, bother them. And I always say, say to a person, if it doesn't bother you, don't do it. You know, it's got to bother you. It's got to be, you got to be mentally ready to do it. So a, a candidate for a neck lift is somebody who looks in the mirror on a regular basis and they go, ugh, it's driving me crazy. In a male, it may be somebody wearing a shirt and tie and their neck's hanging over. It's, uh, you know, they're in their 50s or 60s and they're still, you know, a lawyer, a professional, a count, or you know, whomever it may be, a teacher, but it bugs them. They, they don't like what they see. So it's a heavier neck, it's a loose neck, it's hanging over their shirt collar. And in, in a female, it's just, you know, it's something that is, is an aging thing. It's just an aging look. And one of the key in, ingredients with that whole situation about the aging neck is, you know, I always sort of jokingly say you got to pick your parents well because that is what often determines how the neck will age. And of course, things like sun and sun damage, uh, over the years will, will play a part, but the key, the key ingredient is, is the fact that you're a certain age or you've been around a while and also uh, how the neck ages in, in people may say, yeah, it was just like my parents or my or siblings or whatever it may be. Uh, so the candidates are people who uh, see what, you know, what they're looking at in the mirror and it bothers them and they, they want to find out what their options are.